Once your animal is recovered and your hero pictures are finished, you need to start your meat care right away. Rodney and myself are often asked how we care for our game in remote locations, and we are going to attempt to demonstrate that in this video. Keep in mind that we use the same method that we're going to show you on deer, bear, elk, moose, or whatever we are processing. In this case, Rodney's javelina will work just fine for demonstration purposes. The method we use utilizes the hide as a tablecloth and works well for helping keep the meat as clean as possible. Rodney's javelina has already been gutted or field dressed, but we have used this same method on animals that are not gutted or field dressed and that sometimes is an advantage in the field. Started the skinning up the underside of the animal, just underneath the skin, and then cut around all four legs just below the joint. then skin that side all the way up past the spine, exposing the meat on that side. Once your meat is exposed on both sides, start by removing your back straps. Take special care to remove any and all bloodshot meat. Place your meat on a clean rock surface to start the glazing process. We have a wind today which will assist us in glazing the meat quickly. Another critical factor in ensuring palatable table fare is removing all hair from the meat, as is obvious here on the chest and leg. Remove the front quarters and the rear hams, along with any excess meat that is around that site.
keep all your meat off the ground and on clean rocks. larger game, we would also take all the meat between the ribs. On javelina, that was not necessary. We ended up quartering the javelina for transport in this instance, but sometimes we need to bone the animal completely if we are on a backpack hunt and far from our vehicle. In boning, you would process the animal the same way as we've shown you, and simply fillet all the meat completely off the bone, leaving all the bone behind. We owe it to the game we harvest and to ourselves to get proficient at field care. God bless you and good hunting. This javelina hunt, we met a friend by the name of Roberto that had a great recipe for tamales. The javelina made the best tamales we have ever eaten, proving once again the value of good in the field meat care. We now call them javamales.